The Sphere is the newest amazing technological marvel piece in Las Vegas, concert venue and movie hall. And in this video, I'm going to show you around everything you need to know if you're coming to a Sphere show. I'm going to give you a tour of the atrium. That's what you do an hour before you see the movie postcard from Earth. Then I'm going to tell you about the postcard from Earth, the movie, and then I'm going to answer the question, is it worth it to come and do the Sphere experience? And we're going to start this from the entrance from the Palazzo at the main security checkpoint. So this is just past the security checkpoint. If you're here to see the movie, then doors open an hour before. There's also second entry down at the lower level. You get to experience these things. There are these robots. There's a few of them and you can talk to them and ask them questions. We'll see the other ones in just a moment. There are signs that tell you when the journey begins. Right now it's 19 minutes to showtime. They basically encourage you not to get to your seats until about 10 minutes before because there's nothing much to do once you get to your seats. One of the other things to do is scan yourself to become an avatar. Uh, we'll look at that in just a moment, but first we'll go see the other robot over here. Oh, these robots have like different themes where they talk to you about different things. So robot number two over here talks to you about connection and about the metaverse. And uh, whoever like is standing right in front gets to talk and ask them questions. Okay, looking back in, you can see this line over here. This is the line for the avatar scanner where you stand in there and you get yourself scanned to be an avatar. In the center right here, they've got these neat rings and they've got this neat projection thing up here. But what they've got over here is an exhibit that shows you how the sound beams work in the concert venue. So a way kind of this thing is, is like they, they beam the sound to your seat and as you kind of walk back and forth, you can hear it and feel it. All right, now on this side, there are some elevators that'll take you up and down. That's the, that's the sound beams. The, there we go, the robot's talking to me right now. All right, kind of loud, huh? Because it, it's like, it beams straight. All right, on this side, there are some grab and go food places. So the way these work is you get your drinks over here or your snacks and then you put them right there on the scanner. You just like place them inside, charges you, you tap a bottle of water, something like $7, other drinks, $8, yeah, not the cheapest things. There is a bar over here, a couple bars over here. This is the tap house, has a bunch of beers on tap and drinks. You can also get tri-tip sandwiches for $20, fish and chips for $18, Caribbean steak fries, $19. Let's see, we'll take a look at this menu and the various snacks over here, up close. That's the menu right now. Okay. As we go over around this way, there is uh, one more robot over here. This is the creativity robot. And then there's another screen up here that just displays some cool stuff. Over around this side, it looks like they might have some tables to sell merch, like if you were here for a concert. And I have seen when people are here for a, like a U2 concert that they've actually covered up some of these robots. So you might not have the immersive experience things that is typically part of the <coughs> sphere experience if you're here for the movie, if you're here for a concert. I guess it just does. Pens. All right, there is another avatar scanner over here. So if the line for the first one is too long, you can see the second one. Oh, and I mentioned I would show you where the um, entrance is from the plaza side. It's basically just behind us where we came from. This robot talks to you about longevity. And now there are a few more places to get food and drink over here. The atrium kitchen and bar is back over on this side in the atrium kitchen and bar. Well, there's so many drinks, but there's also food over here. You can get burgers. The burger is a little less than $20. You can get loco moco. You can get the ahi tuna rice bowl and dooley sausage, chicken, tender and fries, or just fries. And there's some like stand up tables that you can eat those things at. Me, I ate at the Venetian food court uh, just before coming here. I think the pulsating of the lights 
is starting to tell us that uh, it's probably time to go up to our seats. But yes, oh here, let's look back at the screen. The screen's really neat. I mean, it's like a really neat projection display how they do that. Like, and the screen, it's not like a full screen. It's like these fans that spin around and make that. So that's a pretty cool look. All right, let's go uh, take a look what's up at the next floor. And now we'll walk up this way. I am in row or section 300, which is up two escalators. There's a whole bunch of different like tickets and tiers. By the way, if you wonder how much I paid to see the movie, because uh, I bought the tickets like before the shows even started a couple months ago, I paid fifty dollars. The cheapest tickets now are seventy dollars, and even with any showing, like the seats like significantly range up in price. Okay, so inside the theater now, some things you should know about this concert venue. One. Oh, it is really, really steep. Oh, and the show just finished, so I'm doing this after the show. It's really, really steep, and so be careful as you go down. The aisles are also really, really narrow, and so for people to get into the seats, uh, people definitely have to move for you. I'm like, they have, everybody has to stand up. You can't shimmy by. There are cup holders at the seats, and you can bring your food in. Now, the show itself. Uh, this is going to be like a spoiler, so if you don't like spoilers, then... Uh, I'll put a timestamp in here. You can skip ahead to my final assessment if, if it's worth it, if you don't like spoilers. But the show is 50 minutes long, and it's basically kind of like Soren at Disneyland uh, combined with maybe Captain EO, like a 4D experience. I mean, it legitimately is the coolest movie experience I've ever been to. There are uh, wind effects, there are rumble effects, and I'd say the scenes basically range from flying through nature, to putting the camera in interesting places underwater, to interesting places that humans are. And then the storyline as it goes through is, it's called Postcard from Earth, and so basically we have destroyed Earth as a civilization. We need to leave Earth to go to other planets, and then this movie is a way to remind those people on those gone to those other planets about Earth so they can terraform and build a new planet. Now, the screen is so big and so cool and so immersive that it literally some of the scenes feels like you're flying, feels like you're tipping down when they have fireworks. Like, I saw fireworks last night in the strip. Fireworks in this, I literally felt like I saw fireworks. Uh, and so it does like, again, when I saw Captain EO at Disneyland the first time, which was a Michael Jackson flick, Michael Jackson holographic thing, it was, I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And definitely I feel that way about this. Although the storyline, because it's a little bit of less, we've destroyed the planet, doesn't give me the same happy, feel-good ending that I had after I saw Captain Neo. Uh, it's kind of a downer at the end. But if you can uh, leave the downer aside, the actual experience is super neat and super technical. And I see why Time Magazine called this the best invention of 2023 like this sphere and this movie and the camera that they built that they can capture all these things legitimately is super cool and an amazing invention and i'm surprised it's opened in vegas instead of opening at disneyland or a theme park or something like that uh so now to the question of is it worth it to come see a show here i think it really depends on how much you paid for the tickets i paid 49.95 for my tickets here I bought them a couple months ago. Base price now sixty nine ninety five. I think at the base price probably still worth it. I mean, my seat was pretty good. Like, you know, I wasn't too far in the cheap seats. As I said, they don't like, they don't sell past this row over here. Uh, and like the more expensive seats, they're they're down here in the center. And I don't, I don't know that that adds all that much to the show. I almost feel like being back a bit allows you to see more of the screen because the screen is like overhead and I can't like there's no way to like really show you all the stuff on the screen sorry if I'm making you dizzy but much like an IMAX movie or things like that sometimes it's better to sit far back than it is to sit super close up so I think the cheap seats are totally worth it when I pay $200 to see a 50 minute movie probably not so uh, I think again that worth it thing depends on kid do you like do you like technical things? Would you admire the ingenuity here? Sound comes from different areas. The speakers are all hidden behind the screen. It's super cool. Um, so that's that's the part of me that thinks it worth it. If you can like admire that technical achievement. If you're like, 
is it worth it to see the 50 minute movie for $70? Then probably not. All right. With that, uh, hopefully that helps you decide whether you want to go see Postcard from Earth or not. I would. I'd pay it again. OC Girl, my wife, wasn't here with me. Neither was my daughter. But if we come back to Vegas as a family, we'll come see it again. So it's probably going to you know that I'm willing to pay to come see it again because I thought it was that cool. Oh, and you should also know once the show is over, you can't interact with any of that atrium stuff anymore. It's all covered up, roped off. They just want you to get the... Get on out. Get on out. Because they got another show coming on in. Get out. Get out. Get out. That's what they say. All right. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in some of these other videos, all bunch other on Vegas.